morning. Oh, that's all fogged up, isn't it? Let's do that. Hi, that's better. Morning. 39 degrees. And I've been up for about an hour and a half, just kind of getting stuff packed up. I'm getting some food. I'm trying to get warmed up a little bit before I get going. But I'm probably going to be here for about another hour. I want to get into the sun because right now my tent is completely covered in dew. And I would like to give it an opportunity to dry off before I pack it up. Literally right next to Highway 550. So head out of here. Head up uh, north. The, uh, the first real pass of the day will be Corkscrew Pass. So that should be fine. So lots of people out. Lots of people camping. Today's Sunday. So I would imagine a lot of people will be heading back. Packing up and heading home. Alright, it is just after 9. Everything is packed up. Basically except for the tent. Because I'm just giving it a little bit more chance to dry off. Basically just finishing up getting ready to go. Oh, we got some dirt bikers. These are the first bikers I've seen. I've seen tons of ATVs and stuff, but no motorcycles. It's like a beta. Tear up over here. Maybe some other trails. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna get dressed, finish getting packed up, and get going. Bye. Nice. Vents are all open, thank God. <coughs> Alright, are we ready? We are ready. Let's go. It was chilly last night. It was uh, 39 degrees when I woke up this morning. But it's, let's see, almost 70 now, which is pretty much perfect. Two people from Arizona that are deathly afraid of the fog line. <laughs> I can't see it in it because of the raindrops, but oh well. Yeah, that's alright. Zigzag around the ruins. Ooh, that looks deep. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, when you have an exposed pipe <laughs> in the middle of it, that's not good. Okay, this might be a slippery, muddy, muddy mess. Don't want to go in there. There we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. This is going to be interesting. Whew. Don't do that bit if it's muddy. <laughs> Holy sh**. Yankee Girl Mine is where I'm headed to now. Tree, we're gonna be friends, okay? Thanks. All right, and I'm going right. Ooh, yeah. water or at least big drop into the water here we go another one maybe no nope. they had like a mudslide or something this I mean this might be from an avalanche also but oh yeah it wiped the fucking road out um, I want that center lane. There we go. Ooh, this is loose. I 
wonder if it hasn't had time to get packed down because there haven't been very many people up here. All right, first switch back. There we go. And then this, you can use the wall. Oh, oh, saved it. Ooh, oh, shit. <laughs> the really hard part is going to be getting moving again. I just, I don't want to slide further into this loose shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna wait for them at the top and thank them. In fact, I'm gonna wait right here. I got fucking air off of that. I'm gonna have to walk it all the way back down here. Yeah, this is a, uh, a rutted up show. All right, let's do this. I guess it's just kind of a toss up no matter what on what kind of conditions you're gonna find when you get out here. Nice long descent. Hurricane. Yeah, there's a ton of this that is stuff that was not like this at all. Yeah, this is right now, this is way worse than the Arizona BDR. The Arizona BDR had its moments, but this is worse. All right. And ironically now, this looks to be in pretty good shape. Well, not this bit, but... All right. Here we come. Oh, crap. it's muddy. Fuck. No, go, 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 go. Yes, okay. Oh, fuck. fancy meeting you again.
12,936 feet. I believe that's the highest point of the BDR, just shy of 13,000 feet. Oh boy, man. Okay, this is Animus Forks. It's the biggest thing that Animus Forks is famous for is they had a snowstorm um, when this was all still mining and you know, that's all it was. But yeah, they had a snowstorm one year that was so deep that they actually dug tunnels between the buildings because they couldn't dig the town out. And so it's, and it stayed like that for most of the winter. Like basically the entire town was under the snow. And yeah, now it's basically a historical attraction. It really is pretty neat. Like you wouldn't want to go in most of the buildings just because and might collapse on you. Oh God, that was a really big rock. more f***ed up than last time. Those are those guys I saw this morning. They must be either doing the Alpine Loop or doing something... No, oh, come on. Oh, I was in second gear, no wonder. First gear. And cut across. There we go. Oh, God. Okay. Cinnamon Pass. Success. Oh, this is pretty, though. Oh, yeah. This isn't too bad. Just a bloop in the middle. That is a very big puddle. That's another really big puddle. I'm gonna go right through here. We all right. So we will see what camp situations look like. I have a couple of campgrounds marked on here, and I'm gonna check each one. If any of them are open, I will probably just go ahead and do that. Bonk bonk bonk. Oh, hi, Marmot. Hi. Oh, hi. That's a bighorn. Hi. It's a female, but... Hey there. What are you doing right up on the road like that? Hey, bud. I wonder where the rest of you are. Probably down that f***ing cliff. Yahtzee. Oh, yes. Oh, God, don't fall over. Oh. So here we are. This is, I don't actually remember the name of the campground. <laughs> Where the hell am I? I'm right there. That's where I am. <laughs> I don't remember the name of the campground. And at this point, I'm too tired to try and figure it out. I'm working on downloading footage. Uh, I didn't get everything downloaded from yesterday, so I'm finishing up that. As well as today. Today was a heck of a day. Everything was way gnarlier than it was in 2018. There was very rarely a good line to be able to take. <laughs> And uh, it was a lot of work. Still enjoyed it, but I am beat. <laughs> this will be my life for the next couple hours. And tomorrow I go into Buena Vista. So it's about another about 140 miles, something like that. Theoretically, at least, the toughest is behind me. So I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> Don't I look happy? <laughs> 
I'm really tired. It, it, I'm really glad that it was not in this condition when we tried to do this back in 2018, because we wouldn't have made it up corkscrew. It was, that was awful. Looking forward to lasagna and looking forward to a real bed tomorrow, because then I have my rest day and I am going to take advantage of my rest day. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Just chilling, listening to the water. Hmm.